now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. 65 degree air temperature. We have some fairly clear skies. A little bit of high cloudiness though from time to time. We have a dew point value that's the same as the air temperature. That brings 100% relative humidity and the potential for fog exists across the region, especially with calm winds. Well, actually they just jumped up. They're still almost calm north at about three. We're looking at uh, the potential for some dense fog in inland areas. Watch for that. It's kind of patchy, but it's out there. Becky and Omayaka reported some very dense fog at her location, and Punta Gorda comes in with a quarter mile visibility. So it's out there. Just allow yourself a little extra time, especially if you're traveling to or from inland locations. 66 from Wachula, Arcadia, Parish at 65, so is Bradenton, Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota. 67 degrees in Northport, Inglewood at 69, Venice at 68, and Lombok Key comes in at 69 degrees as well. So across the nation today, kind of active compared to where we were yesterday. We have a frontal boundary that kind of meanders through the deep south, but it's on the move, and it's actually moving southward at a pretty good clip. Should be clearing the state of Florida by later tonight. This is part of a frontal boundary that has taken almost six days to move from its present location down to the south. So it's uh, it's really started to, to, to make that move now. Producing some rain showers from Atlanta all the way through the Carolina airports as well. There could be some airport delays at our hubs because of that front. And then back to the north, the secondary front, which will be arriving here on Sunday with some slightly cooler air as well. Now, neither of these fronts, as they move through the state of Florida, will produce a, a big punch of cooler air, but both of them will slightly reduce our temperatures, slightly reduce our dew points with each frontal passage. So that by the time we get to Monday, after both of these fronts have moved through, we'll enjoy some very lovely weather for several days in a row. Even tomorrow should be nice as high pressure builds in back behind this front and we see our dew points lower, getting rid of this fog problem and see our temperatures drop to about seasonable for this time of year as opposed to the warmer than average temperatures that we've been experiencing for several days and we'll see again today. A sunny afternoon, but filtered sun through high thin clouds and that possibility of some morning fog in your location. Titan radar not showing much in the way of rainfall locally, but as I mentioned, current radar showing a pretty good swath of rain moving south through the deep south and leading to some airport delays potentially. As far as our thunderstorm outlook goes with this frontal passage, now we're not going to say we're not going to see much in the way of even rainfall, much less thunderstorms. However, the other coast, if anybody sees anything, it will be uh, the east coast of Florida, not us. So watch for those winds to kind of pick up a little bit tonight. Boaters coming out of the southwest and switching northwest to north and coming in overnight at about 15. That should uh, actually increase in speed tomorrow and it could be a breezy day tomorrow, but delightful. Lots of sunshine around, lower humidity and a daytime high about four degrees lower as well. Saturday looks fine. Beautiful day for Veterans Day and then Sunday that second front lowering our temperatures next work week into the upper 70s. Back to you guys.